the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven and stirred up the great sea from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet, like a man, and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left it trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man, and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow-bright, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched then from the first of the arrogant words which the horn spoke until the beast was slain at his body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life from for time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You springs bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. 
Give glory and eternal praise to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable, consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, This generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We live in a constantly changing world, and the pace of change can be very rapid at times. Many people find it very difficult to face change as we all need some constants in our lives, and we find change easier to manage if certain things remain the same. In today's gospel passage, Jesus speaks of a highly significant change. He proclaims that even heaven and earth will pass away, making it challenging to imagine a more profound change. However, he immediately reveals something that will never change, something that will never pass away when he says, my words, will not pass away. Amid even the most drastic changes, the Lord's word remains strong and unyielding because the Lord himself remains perpetual and true. He is the rock that stands firm when all else passes away. Amid unsettling change, we can be assured that the Lord remains steady. When everything else is moving, he remains still. Our relationship with him will help us keep us steady when things seem ready to fall apart. In faith, we bring these prayers before our Heavenly Father for those who teach and preach the Word of God, that they may do so with confidence in the everlasting power of that Word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the people of our world, that we may share prosperity rather than seek private gain, that we may work for peace and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Jim Briegel, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name 
and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your command through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay. 
qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.